Welcome to the Healthy Skin Show with Jennifer Fugo, where we're flipping everything you've been told about your chronic skin issues upside down and connecting you with alternative solutions your dermatologist never told you about. Welcome back to episode number 131 of the Healthy Skin Show. In today's episode, I want to talk about your approach or mindset to when things don't seem to be going your way and you essentially feel like everything that you give a try ends up as a failure. There is a growing sense of feeling hopeless, nothing is working, and you start to feel such a deep sense of disappointment that you're not really sure how to process because despite what you find online, the stories and testimonials that you read from people who have seemingly fixed themselves and their rashes, or You find articles that have what appear to be really good information, and yet it doesn't work for you. For most people, it leaves you feeling like a failure and even possibly like a lost cause. That there's no point in giving anything else a try because for whatever reason, you are doomed. That type of mindset, the failure mindset, it's one that is a dead end. Because it sucks you down deep into a hole that can be very difficult and sometimes impossible to get out of. And one of the biggest problems that I see with this is actually the inability to see opportunity and possibility. Within failure, there is always opportunity. And actually, I believe failures or things that don't turn out the way that we expect them to and maybe end up turning out even worse is incredibly powerful feedback that we can use to piece more information together. But when you just see it as a failure, as a dead end, that's where we get incredibly stuck. So it's my hope today to help share with you some of the tools that I've learned along the way, not just in my own personal life, but also working with clients. The first piece to this puzzle is that oftentimes health issues that have been chronic in nature, especially those that come along with eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, dandruff, etc., tend to be best quote unquote played in a long game format. What that means is you can't necessarily expect short term wins, that you're going to solve this with doing one thing. There are some people who will make one little minor change and everything goes away. For most people, that type of expectation of changing one little thing and poof, everything, your rashes, the itchiness, etc. all disappears is just incredibly unrealistic. When you realize that you're not playing a short game here, that in reality you are playing a long game and that this isn't just about your skin, it's about your health overall. That can help you realize that there will be times when you will take two steps forward and three steps back. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you failed, that all hope is lost. But instead, that backslide had to happen in order for you to find the opportunity to move forward in a more productive way. I personally have come to view all of the information and feedback that your body gives you, both positive and what is perceived as negative, as important data that we can use to help piece things together. So by taking the long-term approach, it helps us to see from the 2,000-foot view all the twists and turns that your health journey, especially for your skin, will entail. It's not going to look like a straight line. It's not always going to look like you're moving forward. There are going to be times when it does look like you're going backwards or stuck. And yet, if we can see the opportunity in the moment, that will help us recognize that this is in fact not a short game, but a long game toward understanding and coming into harmony with your body and your health. And the second piece of the puzzle is to remain skeptically optimistic. What that means is that no matter how bright, sunny, and amazingly powerful someone's testimonial about their transformational journey and all of the steps that they took that has seemed to work for them. But here's the thing. 
Your journey is unique, and your journey is not their journey. What worked for them may not work for you. And there are some instances where what works for one person may actually make you worse. That's why remaining skeptical, optimistic, but skeptical, helps you create an emotional barrier so that you don't make these assumptions that what you're going to do is automatically going to fix you. There is danger in making that assumption because those assumptions oftentimes lead to heartache and again, feeling like a failure. And when things don't go your way, and it'll happen, (laughs) you know it, I know it, everyone knows it, things are not always going to work for you and fix your skin. When they don't work, allow yourself a set period of time to feel all of your feelings, the emotions, the grief, the anger, the disappointment. Allow yourself that time, but set a time limit. I usually allow myself about 30 minutes to an hour to feel down, cry, scream, journal, write out all the angry thoughts. And then when the time is up, you've got to move on. It's not healthy to dwell in negative thoughts and to become the failure and the hopelessness that you in that moment are feeling. That's why you set the time limit and then you move on. Because as I've already said, a failure is not really a failure. It's an opportunity to learn and to reflect upon what didn't work, seeing it as important and necessary feedback. What doesn't help you may actually be a sign that you need more support in a particular area. So one example of this would be if you seem to react more to salicylate foods. That wouldn't necessarily mean that your whole diet is a disaster and you need to go on a low salicylate diet. But in fact, what that quote unquote failure is telling us is that your liver actually needs more support. In my sessions with clients, what I always tell them is don't be afraid to tell me what's going well and what's not going well, because both sides of that conversation are equally relevant. And the feedback that your body provides you, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, is all valuable. And that is why emotionally tying or yoking yourself to just having positive feedback is actually unhelpful. Because you're failing to see important pieces of the puzzle because you only want to see improvements. And improvements may be helpful to some degree, but fixating on improvements only creates a blind spot that blocks you from seeing small yet significant details to your particular case, therefore missing out on the opportunity to piece everything together. And lastly, when things don't go your way, that is the opportunity to dig deeper, to ask the question why what you tried didn't work. Always ask why, because the deeper whys will help move you further along down the road. If, for example, you were to try adding in more vitamin A, more fish oil to your diet to help your skin and yet didn't notice any improvement, The question would be, why didn't it work? Am I absorbing fats? Is it possible that in some respect, my fat absorption is compromised? So instead of seeing that attempt as a failure, it's an opportunity, an experiment, a test to see if you can highlight some facet of this large, complex web of moving pieces in your body, in biochemistry, in your health, and shine a light on the area that needs support the most. There is tremendous power available to you when you come to see the failures in all of your attempts as opportunities. Opportunities to do better, to look deeper, to support your body, your life, and your health from the perspective that it uniquely needs. I would love to hear your approach to dealing with these failures. Have you experienced the highs and lows or have you found a way to navigate the path forward so that your failures, these attempts at making improvements to your skin do not stop you 
as if they are dead ends, but in fact, help you move forward. Leave your experiences and thoughts over at skinterrupt.com forward slash 131. And make sure to share this episode with anyone who you know who feels like everything they try is a waste of time, only results in failure, and that maybe they are just doomed. This mindset shift can be incredibly powerful to help you remain hopeful and to keep taking steps day after day to better support not just your skin, but also your body as a whole. Before you head out for your day, make sure to head on over to your podcast platform of choice, rate, review, and then hit the subscribe button so that way the next episode lands on your mobile device. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.